All right, we're back with sports, and as the 2023 football season marches on for the Bellhaven football team, we know that they're headed in the right direction because their head coach knows how to win games. In their last outing over the weekend, the Blazers shut out Greensboro 34-0. Blazers head coach Blaine McCorkle becomes the all-time leader in wins at Bellhaven with the victory. He has 25 uh, wins and counting since becoming the seventh head coach of program history back in 2018. The program started in 1998, and McCorkle has turned the Blazers into a winning program in a relative short period of time, despite some early struggles and coming out on the positive end of the pandemic. You know, our first year we went two and eight and we got beat pretty bad. You know, our second year we went two and eight and we played some close games and then COVID hit and everything kind of flipped. You know, we started off the COVID season, we played five games 0 and 2, and since then we've won 21 of the last 26. Um, so COVID was good for our program, as crazy as that sounds, because we could really say, hey, this is who we want to be, or, you know, establish our culture and, and, you know, develop some young players. And a lot of those guys are still here. You know, we got 20 seniors right now that have already graduated. So at this level, that's pretty rare. So it's been a steady climb and hopefully uh, we're still common and still got some things to do. And uh, for Coach for Coach McCorkle, becoming the all-time wins leader at Bellhaven was on his to-do list when he took over the team. When I first came here, you know, there's dreams, and there's goals, and there's visions and things you want to accomplish. I don't think being the winningest coach here was one I really thought about. It just wasn't on my radar. I was thinking more about can we just go 500? You know, can we just can we just get on the field without falling down? You know, and then maybe maybe one day dream about winning a conference championship. And then this has kind of been a a byproduct of chasing those other things. So I'm grateful for it. It's pretty neat, um, and it's it's definitely humbling because there's been six great football coaches here before me, and to kind of be mentioned in the same name with them and kind of stand on their shoulders is uh, it's pretty humbling, and I'm grateful for it. All right, McCorkle and the Blazers hope to be dancing later this year as they try to win their first conference championship and to crack the national top 25 poll. The undefeated Blazers visit North Carolina Wesleyan this weekend.